All right, guys, so in this final keywording video, I want to go over one or two more ways that you guys can use to apply keywords to images, but mainly I want to go over managing your keywords. So first, there's a couple of the ways we can apply keywords, and we might have already done this, but I want to just do this for a quick review. One way, I'm going to select everything by hitting Control-A in my grid view. I'm going to hit S to expand my entire stack, and then I'm going to hit Control-A again to select all my images. Now, I can select as many images as I want here, and I can hit Control-K, and I'm going to apply uh, like let's say I hit control K and I want to apply a generic um, a generic keyword for this entire shoot and we'll call it undefined shoot because this this is all just falls under the undefined well, actually we'll call it undefined client and I'm gonna hit yes so we can see that it adds undefined client and what you see up here is whenever you see a star next to a keyword tag that shows up in this uh, keyword listing well that means that 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 keyword is applied to some images but not all but if you see a keyword that doesn't have a star like this undefined client that's a keyword that's actually applied to every single image now if I remove this right here and I hit enter it's removing it from every single image so that that, that keyword is no longer applying now a way that I can add it back again is I can click right here and I'm gonna put undefined client Another way I can I can apply Im keywords to multiple images is by syncing. So after this image has undefined client on it, I'm going to click down to the very bottom by shift clicking on, on image number 45 so it selects the entire range. I'm going to hit sync metadata and I'm going to select what I want it to uh, sync. And I actually don't want it to sync any of this other metadata except for keywords. So I'm going to click check none. Then I'm going to click on keywords. And then I only want it to click, uh, actually uh, sync one of these keywords. I don't want it to sync lens configuration to all of them because that doesn't apply to all these images. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove lens configuration from this list. And now I have just undefined client. I'm going to hit synchronize. And once again, we see that undefined client is now applied to every single image. So if I just select any image in this range, we see that it has undefined client as a keyword. So syncing is another way that you guys can use to apply keywords. Alright guys, so let's get into actually managing our keyword list. So I'm going to collapse this keywording panel. We don't need it anymore. And what I'm going to do is go down to the keyword list right here, and we're going to start organizing this list into keyword hierarchies. And we talked about hierarchies before. It works similar to, to how we talked about collection sets, where you can create collections that go within collection sets. Well, we can create keywords that go within different keywords, So, like we have a keyword hierarchy. So let's do that right now. I'm going to click this back configurations, and then I'm going to shift, hold down shift, and then I'm going to click this very last one, the solo models, well, second to last one. And these are all part of the undefined client shoot because this is the parent keyword in this entire set. So I'm going to click and drag all these keywords down to undefined client. And now I have a parent keyword, which is undefined client. Well, now I'm going to continue to organize, and I'm going to say, well, let's create one for just the bag. And so I'm going to right click on undefined client and I'm going to say create a keyword tag inside of undefined client. I'm going to, I'm going to say this is going to be the one, uh, what's called the one bag details. Okay, I'm going to and just have this create options, make sure put inside undefined client is selected so it adds it right underneath the undefined client uh, parent keyword. Now under this I have one bag details, well bag configurations would apply under there. Uh, and also lens configurations would apply under there. So I'm going to drag these to the one bag details. Okay, now I'm going to take all of these other shoots. So we we had two different kinds of shoots. We had the model shoot where the, uh, the girl and the boy are together, and we had the independent shoot where they're all separate. So what I'm going to do is take these solo model ones, and I'm going to add all these ones that were done in the solo model shoot to the solo models category, this little keyword right here. So I'm going to drag those all down to there. So now I have everything under solo models is right here. And now we have the model shoot, we have the solo models, and we have one bag details. So we've created a nice little organized keyword hierarchy, and I can continue to go down and, and create additional parent and child categories uh, throughout this, but I think you guys kind of understand the point. All right, guys, so let's get into some other ways we can manage our keywords. And I'm going to expand the solo models and right-click on the black leather. I'm going to go Edit Keyword Tag. Now, when I click Edit, I, can have, I have a few different options. I can select the keyword name, and I can change that. Um, and it'll update all the images that have that keyword name applied to it. 
Um, I can also add synonyms. And what are synonyms exactly? Well, basically a synonym is another, I mean, you know what synonyms are in the English language, and that's essentially how it works, where when you apply a synonym, it makes it so that I can also filter via similar words. So let's say leather is also a synonym, and also cowhide is also a synonym. Whatever I might use in the filters. Now, these uh, export options, these keyword tag options, basically means that these keywords are going to be included with the files on export, and it's going to include uh, containing keywords, export synonyms, it's going to include the regular keyword tag as well. So if I click Edit, now when I click uh, find, like to go into my filters and actually find something, well if I type leather, it should bring up anything that has leather now if, uh, applied to it, because leather is one of the synonyms for black leather. Now if I type cowhide, we should see the same thing. So it brings up black leather. Even though it doesn't show the synonyms in this keyword list, they are there, and they're basically useful for maybe if you have something that you you might not exactly remember the specific name for it. Maybe other people will use searches, and they might use a synonym for that item. It can be useful to add that synonym to the keyword so that when you're doing filters, you can find it via multiple words. All right, so I'm going to remove that filter. Now we've seen how we can edit the different keywords that we have, so we can also do other things like deleting them. And, and deleting them basically is going to work just the same way as if you were to delete a collection. It's not actually going to remove the photos, but it's just going to remove all the keywords that were applied to that specific photo. So let's say uh, this fall one right here. I'm not sure what this fall one actually was, but we're going to remove this fall one because there's actually no images that it's applied to, which we can see right here. So we're going to right click and click delete. And let's see if all of our other keywords make sense. We have the model shoe that makes sense, black leather, blue circles, boy, girl, damask, houndstooth, that's all fine. I think this is fine, but this lens configuration doesn't quite make sense because we have bad configurations right here. So I'm going to click on this and I'm going to actually remove this one. So we'll click delete. Okay, so we kind of tidy up our list right here. All right, now one other option that we have uh, right underneath that previous option of put new keywords inside this keyword is use this as a keyword shortcut. And this is yet another way that we can use to apply keywords to images. And basically how that works, if I click it, it's automatically going to add a plus symbol to the end of that keyword. So now another way I can use, uh, use this feature to add keywords is just by going over an image, right clicking, and it's automatically have that keyword, add keyword back configurations right here in the menu. So that becomes a keyword shortcut in this menu. So if I click it, it's going to add it right to that. Now it's already assigned there, so that's not going to add it. But if I maybe assign, let me create a new keyword inside of here. We already have, I'm going to select this as uh, put new keywords inside this keyword. So we're going to put um, the gadget bag right here. The gadget bag. So that should be automatically added to bag configurations. There we go. Okay, so now for this image, if I click right here and say use as keyword shortcut and then I right click I have add keyword the gadget bag which automatically will make it so the gadget bag now has two images inside of it once we add it. Again you can only have one image set as a keyword shortcut and to disable it you need to right click again and hit use this keyword as shortcut and now it's disabled. Okay, the last option I wanted to go over regarding keywords is basically exporting keywords as catalogs. And this works essentially the same exact way as a collection, where I can select, let's say, any one of these keywords. Like if I have a keyword group that becomes particularly large, I can break that off as its own catalog by simply collect, selecting that keyword grouping, right-clicking, and hit export these photos as a catalog. And now basically what it will give me the option to do is to create a catalog in a new place, and we'll just say uh, test export and it'll include the export negative file so long as this is checked and it'll also include available preview so long as this is checked. And I'm going to click Save and there we go it's done. I'm going to go to my desktop and now we have test export right here. If I look inside we have 00 originals there's our 24 images that were in that group here's our catalog file and we have everything inside of a new catalog and we still have those images also in this catalog so if I wanted to break them off I would export them and then remove it from the original catalog Alright guys, so by now you guys should have a great understanding of keywords, not only in how to create keywords, but how to create keyword sets, how to manage your keyword lists and hierarchies, and really just get the most out of keywording as far as organizing and managing your images.